We have a special guest joining us all the way from Silicon Valley, Steve Harrod, Managing Director of Catalyst Partners. Thank you so much for being with us. Thanks for having me. Well, attacks on Europe recently have reignited interest in cybersecurity. Surely no shortage of security companies here in Tel Aviv. Yeah, there's probably 50 companies started per year in the cybersecurity space here, and uh, it's just a fantastic location for doing it between the IDF training and the universities and, uh, and a nice history, too, with Checkpoint and Imperva creating both the mentors and the employees of these new startups. Have you noticed a rise in interest in these kinds of companies? Well, absolutely. Every company, small and large, is worried about being the next one in the news about being broken into, whether by nation states or by insiders. And so it's become really a board level issue, and thus it's actually become one of the highest spending areas for companies that are investing in, in IT. And so that in turn drives a lot of startup creation. Well, how important is that sector to Silicon Valley? Well, it's critical. Everything we do is around the digital world. So whether we're trying to do e-commerce or storing medical records or even doing our banking transactions, if we can't trust that those systems are safe and that the things that we put there are going to be protected, then obviously the businesses won't grow, and, and that's obviously what we look for in Silicon Valley. Well, aside from cyber, where do you see the most potential for growth? Which areas of innovation are poised to grow in the next five years? I'm interested in a lot of areas, all of which are also doing quite well here in Israel. Um, I think one of the biggest areas is around just general data, whether it's in your, in your computer systems or even this world where our automobiles and refrigerators are talking to us. Being able to see all that data and process it is something very important. Um, I think a couple of other interesting areas, again, that are going on in Israel quite nicely, uh, the future economy around uh, gigs, the gig economy, as they call it, where people can take their skills and use them for a lot of different purposes in a marketplace model. Uh, there's a great company named Fiverr here who's able to connect designers and, and people doing video with users all over the place. And then a, a last area I'm very interested in is the future of the financial services. So as banks change for the millennial generation and for the new way we do things, uh, there's really going to be an unbundling of services and, and new ways of taking loans out and new ways of purchasing things and doing online commerce. So, so I think fintech all these are, disruption, we can expect. Yeah, fintech as a whole, I think, is a very fascinating area and, again, well poised for disruption here in uh, the Israeli startups that I'm meeting with. Fascinating. Well, we know that United just launched this new flight from uh, yes. San Francisco <laughs> to Tel Aviv. And you took it, right? I did. I think it's a week old, but it's a direct flight, about 13 hours. And um, what was exciting is coming over here, the number of PowerPoints that were open on the plane with technology pitches that people were showing to each other in their seats. So I think it's going to be a really good connection uh, between the two, the two regions and let us do more and more of these startups that can go back and forth. With this direct link of flights and other activity that's happening between Silicon Valley and Tel Aviv, how do you expect that the relationship will evolve going further? Well, I think it's already very strong. We have a similar culture of uh, meritocracy, uh, really disruptive innovations that people are very aggressive about. Uh, but what's been really nice is a lot of the technologists starting very, uh, very much in Tel Aviv, but really going into Silicon Valley for a lot of the business development and partnering up with your Googles and Facebooks and Intels and everyone else around there. Uh, so I think this notion of really combining great technology with a lot of the big platform companies that are there will continue to thrive. Interesting. And there has been a lot of talk about Silicon Valley cooling. What's your view? Well, certainly we're in ups and downs of cycles, but we really focus on innovation and, and deep changes that they have no knowledge of economic cycles. So they're happening all the time, and we're ready to do that. Um, that being said, it is very much uh, important these days to not do growth at all costs. Uh, companies need to get back to fundamentals like profitability and, and how much they're spending. So I think it's very healthy right now, but the number of companies I meet every single week is in the severals of tens. So uh, there's no question that there's a lot of new ideas coming out in those big areas we discussed, as well as all kinds of other areas we can barely even imagine right now. Well, I want to finish here on this topic of security. And we are, of course, uh, seeing this happening more and more, especially in Europe, transport, especially vulnerable. But apparently mm -hmm. technology is as well explained to us. Well, encryption itself is in the news quite a bit right now, and it's as old as, as warfare and anything else. Um, and it's really such a fundamental building block of everything we do for our ability to do e-commerce and, again, our medical records or even to communicate with one another safely. So it's really been in the news around um, what is the safe balance between letting governments or the good guys uh, keep track of what's happening there but the privacy and the importance of all the e-commerce. So a lot of the focus right now is on do we need backdoor accesses or do we need special ways to get in there? And I think you'll find uh, most technologists are very much against that because of the unintended consequences where uh, the unintended people are getting into these things and thus making, again, e-commerce and everything we do less safe than it is right now. Interesting. Well, just lastly, we did hear that there was 
potentially an Israeli company that got involved in helping the FBI. Did you hear anything on that? Uh, yeah, certainly uh, within the security realm, you hear a lot about different ways that people can get into things. And there'll always be ways that people are able to put a lot of effort into breaking into things. Um, I think it'll be a continuous game where people are trying to stay ahead of the crackers uh, by doing new technologies. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us. A pleasure. Thanks.